relax, natural, like your home. Okay, when we are doing portraits, the first thing we want to do is looking for the whole compositions. It depends on how much you want to include, what you're going to include, and where you're going to set those uh, location. Um, so I'm going to draw something really general. I may not be the composition that I want. So this is the, the face. I'm going to draw a little bit more. And it looks like the face is too big. Um, there's not always the same composition will satisfy you. You have to uh, experiment with that setting with the, uh, the sitters. It's very important uh, what you want to capture, what kind of mood that you want to include. So this is probably the face. Is In that case, I would divide that. The head would be take almost like a one third of the space on the top. And at this point, there's, not, there's no measurement. There's just no um, proportion yet. I'm going to see how the whole um, motion, the whole impression that I want to, that I want to capture. I think this look a little bit better. And I'm going to use my eraser to clear something out from here, like this. So what I'm looking at right now is there is a, the center line, the motion coming down right here. And then going toward this direction. So I'm going to include the shoulder over here, coming up like this, and the shoulder on this side. And that's probably the overall shape that I want to set. It's very much like that. So at the first step, it's very important to, to make sure that your feeling has, been, has the input into the drawing. It's not just looking at the face, looking at the eye, looking at the nose. You want to see how the whole emotion it has been uh, created or captured. Okay, something like that. What's the biggest relationship over here? And that would be from here, there's the high compared to the width. So you have to find the biggest connection. In this, in this case, I'm going to do a little measurement. I'm going to take the top and to the bottom of the chin and I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to say, oh, the actually from the left side to the right side, the top to the bottom, and then it goes to uh, from the hair over here to this side of the side, the, the edge of the hair. So I'm going to take this and rotate it. Well, actually, it's about correct uh, because the edge of the hair will be over here. So the, uh, the left side of the head is actually in the correct space. Uh, when you do that again and again, and then you would very easy to find uh, the way to, to, to correct it. Now, after I have the left and the right, now I'm going to looking for this probably the left side of the face. Okay, now on this side, it's coming through over here, the edge of the face coming down like over here. This is the angular measurement. So find the angle of each portion of the face, starting from uh, the bigger, uh, bigger line, going to a smaller line. About this angle, about like this, coming this way. Okay, this angle is about over here. Okay, now I'm looking for the top over here, and this angle is about the top over here. And also, I can extend this line coming up over here, just almost meeting this area. It's just a little bit wider, and coming down like this. There's another angle coming down over here. So you don't need to see all the curved lines. You can actually make that to be the all straight line. 
But before I go any further, I want to look for the vertical dividing line. And uh, let me see. Is I think it's very much right. And one third on the top, a little bit more than one third probably. I'm going to take that. A little bit more than one third. And actually interesting. From the bottom over here, I can divide into one third. But the one third is not just uh, the bottom of the nose. Over here, it actually the uh, the bear. Uh, so the bottom of the nose should be here. That's from my measurement. And and with that, the eyebrows is about in this location. You can draw the angular line, connect to the two sides, like this. And the nose over here, about in this location. We're going to do a little bit more uh, double check with the uh, with a different part of the face. Okay, let's take a look. And let's take a look at this angle from here because we already know this is correct now. So I'm gonna have this looking for this angle coming down like this. From the corner of the nose, you can draw the line connect to the edge of the eye is about in this location. Like that. This could be the location for the eye. When you find the location of this eye, and you can cross over in the almost the similar angle of the eyebrows line, and this side, this uh, the location for the other eye. Like that, that's good. Uh, knowing the nose over here, the bottom over here has different plane and going the top of the nose coming down like this and the bottom it turning this way. Uh, so it has shadow on here on this side. From the bottom of the nose and to the chin, the chin here has some dimension at the bottom over here. Let's take a look. On this side. Now I can see there from the bottom of the nose to the chin and the lower border, almost the lower border of the lower lip of the mouth is almost a half of that. So, okay, find that location. And if you think, oh, you're kind of making it too easy. It's not exactly, it's supposed to be easy. And if you make yourself working too hard for a portrait, and that power because of the process is not correct. So if you are a member already, please go with the simple exercise from the Enjoying Our Learning Center. If you're not a member yet, it's a good time to join us. We learn together. So this is the location, look like for the mouth. And now I'm going to divide it into a little bit smaller. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use uh, the wine charcoal to start doing some, um, feeling the big value. And look at this corner. I should not going out like that. It's coming in a little bit like this, good. head and the facial hair over here and the whole neck a little bit darker now I'm not uh, looking into the smaller area to draw first I want to see how the whole drawing the whole spaces connect together You may be feeling a little bit unsecure. It kind of, oh, wait a minute. You blow everything out. How am I going to see all those lines? Those lines basically are already in your head. Um, you can find them and really should be easy. Okay. So 
So I look on the face over here, I can blur most of the part out except the except the, the lightest area, probably on the cheek over here and a little bit on the nose over here. And the nose and most part of the nose are a little bit darker. It's not that light. So you want to see the whole, how the co whole connection connect together. Use the, I'm going to say, Like the top of the head over here, you don't have to make all the edges so clear. It's important. The edge doesn't need to be all that clear. When you do painting, you focus on the shape, bigger shape than smaller shape. On this side, I'm going to expand it a little bit more. Lift up. When you use the needle eraser, make sure that you would constantly stretching. So uh, to get make it keep it functional. This this good. Now on the mouth over here, that's a little bit lighter. Yep, that's good. So those are adjustments. After you apply the color, you do the adjustment. And now looking at inside the eye over here and the eyelid, a little bit lighter. Now, on the lower eyelid, also somewhere over here, a little bit like that too. And look at the other side. Uh, we don't have to make it too clear. When you have two eyes in the picture, you have to uh, adjust and balance the relationship between the two eyes. This eye a little bit closer to us and have a little bit more clear. Uh, so on the other side, you don't have to make it the same. Uh, degree of clearness, clarity. Okay. 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 Now I'm going to finishing up the with the the final touch. So I'm going to come back to the medium. Uh, charcoal pencil. Let's see the eye. Start over here. And this is the time to spend the attention to the smaller detail. But it's not always. And sometimes you can keep your attention always on the, the big relationship. Yeah, need to clear up a little bit. Like that, that's good. A little reflected light over here, so I'll make it a little bit lighter. That's just good. Okay, almost there. Separate from the hair to the face. smaller highlight on the hair, you can define that how the hair curve. 